Hello, this is Mike Lively from Northern Kentucky University, and this is the sixth video in a 12-part series on modeling the heart. Now, if you just start it and you don't want to go through all the drawing process that we've proceeded through, you can go ahead and go to the Resources folder, the Blends Library, and click on Heart SBC PA Aorta dot Blend, and that'll bring you up to where we are now. So last time we uh, modeled uh, two arteries in a vein and we're going to connect them now. It's a very simple stylized connection. At this point what you're going to really want to do to get, match the heart is get a lot more uh, reference material. Pretty much the better your reference material is the better your drawing is going to be. We'll just stylize it so it doesn't just look like a uh, distributor cap. We're going to basically highlight the ends of these uh, veins in our aortas and we're going to pull them out, stretch them, and then connect them. So let's do that right now. Hit the tab key And as you can see, everything is highlighted. I'm going to hit the A key to get off of everything. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit so I can see what's going on. Here we go. And I'm going to grab these bottom vertices, stretch them out, and expand them. So hit the B key to marquee around. Here we go. And I'm going to see if I can grab all of these. There we go. I'm going to hit the E key to extrude. And we're just going to extrude straight down a little bit. That's good. And we're going to stop. And now I'm going to deal with each one of these at a time. So let's go ahead and hit the A key to get off of those. Let's start with the superior vena cava. Okay, hit the B key to mark A around that. And all I have to do now is hit the S key to stretch that out. And I'm basically just watching my other uh, side as well as I stretch. Going to go to the next one. Hit the A key to get off of that. Hit the B key. Here we go. And we're going to hit the uh, S key to stretch that out. And there we go. And what I'm doing as I stretch these out, I'm actually watching the other side. So let me show you what I'm looking at. See, I'm watching these as they expand on the screen. Let me go back now. And we've got one more to do, so let's hit the A key to get off of that. The A key to get off of that, and let's grab the other one. And it's kind of hard for me to grab it from this uh, position, so I'm Alt-Rotate just a little bit. So let's Alt-Rotate. There we go, we've got to grab those bottom right there. There we go. Now we can grab those. Hit the B key. Let's highlight those vertices. Good. And what I'm going to do now is basically come down here, hit my view, and hit background to get back where I was. Let's hit front. There we go. Hit the S key. And once again, I'm watching the other screen as I expand that. Good. That looks pretty good. Good. And now I'm going to flip those over and I'm going to connect them. So let's hit the uh, A key key you're gonna and there's the bottom and I'm gonna just do a very simple connection here once again somewhat stylized uh, you're gonna wanna basically we're giving you the tools here to do this but you're actually gonna wanna get some better uh, reference material and pretty much just follow that reference material along as you stretch it and extrude those vertices to match your heart so let's come along and connect these uh, tubes and I'm gonna kinda zoom out a little bit and then kind of uh, actually let's work on the first two and shift around here. So uh, let's connect these two tubes right here. So I'll hit the A key to get off what's already selected. I'm going to zoom in just on those two tubes. There we go. And just start connecting. Now at this point I've been working with vertices, but I want to go back and I want to start working with edges. That will make it a lot simpler to connect. I'm going to use the F key to connect with. Let me show you how to switch to edges. And of course here's my little uh, icons for switching here's is on vertices edges and faces we're going to work with edges well we work with faces in a few moments and we're just going to work on these two right here i'm going to right click an edge i'm going to hold down the shift key and right click another one and oh one second let's try that again right click select an edge hold down the shift key select another one and just hit the f key to connect them there you go let's just do another one right click right click f a real simple process here 
Good. One more. Right click. Shift, right click, and hit F. All right, let's come along here. Shift, right, oops. Got to make sure you select the correct edge. Right click. There you go. Hit F. Let's do another one. Right click. Right click. Oops. So I select diversity underneath. I don't want to do that. Right click. Right click. Hit F. Cool. So this is happening pretty fast. We're going to shift all along here and let's connect the other ones. So let's connect this and this. Right click. Right click. F. That connect the faces. You can also connect vertices the same way. Just click on a vertice, click on a vertice, hit X. Hit F and they connect. So hit F. Good. Right click. Right click. Hit F. Right click. Right click. Hit F. Um, let's connect these two. So you're going to right click on this one, right click on this one, hit F. Good, we're coming along here pretty well. Uh, I'm going to zoom out a little bit so we can see what we're doing. Good. Going to right click this one. There we go. I right click this one. Let's try that again. Shift right click. Hit F. Oh, I didn't quite get it. Let me hit A again. Right click. Got it that time. Shift, right click. F. And uh, let's do one more out here. Right click. Right click. F. We're almost there. Uh, and I think that's going to do it for us. We could make one more connection. Right click. Uh, that's, we're good. That, that's going to do what we want it to do. Uh, only one more thing we need to do here is we actually need to put a few more vertices in here. Uh, that's not going to be enough for us to connect our a heart bag too. So what I'm going to do is uh, kind of rotate this around so you can see what I'm doing. There we go. Good. What I want to do is I want to have area to connect here. See that's all one long line. I actually want to subdivide that. So I'm going to come along here and I'm actually going to go to the faces mode now. So click on this triangle to get the faces mode. And when I did that you can see that everything got these little dots here. I'm going to select these outer faces and going to do a uh, subdivide so I have something to connect to. So I hit my uh, right click and select the, one second. Got to make sure you don't select uh, something you don't want to. Right click on that dot right there. See it collect, selected that face. Going to select that face. Going to select this final face. There you got it. And now I'm going to go down to subdivide and uh, that will give me something to connect to when I bring the heart in. So come on down here to this menu right here and just hit subdivide. And when you do, you're going to see that exactly what happened. You actually, you can see you actually doubled the number of faces. Let's zoom in on that so you can see that. There you go. You can see right here where you doubled the faces. And you're done. I mean, you're ready to go and model the rest of the heart. Let's zoom out so you can see what we did. Let's flip this back over by going to View and uh, Front. There you go. Hey, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Okay, at this point what we need to do is we actually need to add two more reference images and model the rest of the heart and uh, we'll do that next time.